How's everybody doing? My name is Augie with VIP Playlist. I'm here with my most handsomest, oh. beautiful, oh. stuffy nosed co host, Mark and Jack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. My, my stuffy nose co-host. Yeah, I have a sinus infection, so uh, I'm going to power through it. It's, this is my Michael yeah. Jordan flu game right now, so uh, oh, no. my, get out of my way. You got to say your name. I didn't say your name this time. Oh, um, Adam is my oh, name. Thank you. Yes, no, we don't know his name. Yeah, nobody knows his name. Yeah, you do. No. Uh, nice name and on the podcast. Of course, we are joined with... Uh, a lo- well, y'all can introduce your <laughs> stuff. Hey, what's up? My name's Mark. I play bass and sing in Lucius. And I am I'm Jack. And I play guitar and sing in Lucius. We got yeah. All right, sweet. All right, now we can just talk about whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I had to get that out of the way. The intro- you're just introduction. Gonna, you're just gonna edit the rest of this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like thirty minutes of us talking about dumb shit. Yeah, cryptocurrency. Then, hey, yeah, everyone does sing in a Lucius. Yeah. Yeah. That is the crazy part. I sing in a Lucius. Yeah, yep. you do. Yeah, we got to get you on that. And you got to make sure your stems go into our next yeah, mix, yeah. man. Because you recorded all that stuff for us. Yeah. You know how crazy our stuff gets. We got like 15 singers, yeah, four man. members yeah. of the band. Yeah. We, we actually, next single. our next single actually does have like seven different people singing on it. Like as like yes. a, a sort of like oh, I, I, oral I, I, gang vocal thing in the background of a chorus, and it's not Chalupa Cabra, is it? Is it the next one? No, 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 no. It's it's our next one after this collab. Because yeah. I listened to Chalupa Cabra today. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I did it just I was, to like prepare for this. So, because I, I know it comes out on Friday. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought we were talking okay, about. I, was, the, I forgot uh, that you you might have like. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got it. I never got rid of the it. deets. Yeah. I thought we were talking about the next single that he was on called Cinnamon Schnapps. Cinnamon, yes, that one too. I sing on that one too. I sing on... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually fighting about the name of the single that we're coming out with. Yeah. It's just us. <laughs> so you can do like Hot Damn or like Goldschlager or... What's mm-hmm. that? Cinnamon Schnapps. Oh, I, I I just said that as a name. I don't know anything oh. about this stuff. No, yeah, Jack does not drink. We took him to an Irish pub after, I think it was after we got signed to Theoria. Everybody took promo pictures, and we went to an Irish pub, and I gave him a drink of Guinness. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, it was not good for him. Yeah, that was gross. Yeah, I guess, he just... Uh... He That's doesn't drink at man. all, so like it's Look yeah, it's super stout, super dark, man. Yeah, put some hair on your chest. That's right. What it does right there. I love Guinness. Dude, yeah, I don't. Too. I don't love Guinness. That's okay. I don't. I don't drink. Period. I'll drink some kombucha though, if you want some of that. Oh yeah, that stuff's pretty good too. That's about the only thing like alcohol it. that Jack drinks, and it tastes like vinegar. Ugh. I've never had it. I I I never had it up until like maybe. I want to say like two or three months ago, I actually like was at a store and I was thirsty and I was like, I want to start doing better. <laughs> like I just, Mark has to be a better person to his body. Yeah, so I grabbed, yeah. <laughs> I grabbed I some that. kombucha and I drank it and I was like, this, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it's, this. It's yeah. It's good if you get the one that tastes like pink lady. Oh, dude, I got, I've got two in my, like two watermelon synergies in my fridge and they've been sitting there forever they're probably out of you messed up dude you've got synergy you're not getting the like one with the little anchor on it or the one that looks like a a tall boy can you're getting a plastic bottle special bro you need to spend extra money i'm I'm sorry that's glass (laughs) bottle and it was like five bucks at kroger don't give me shit for that (laughs) you know i'll get drugs i'll pay that i'm pretty sure that's what i don't know man it was so long ago it's probably out of date Oh, uh, I think it's, it just ferments fermented. more. Yeah, it's just going to be yeah, fermented. Oh, it's just super fermented. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah a little more potent. Yeah, what's up? I, I, I've never seen you drink anything besides Miller Lite and G Fuel, so you probably won't like it. Yeah, kombucha. Yeah, yeah. I'm I drink tequila. tequila. I like tequila. tequila. I'm you say that. Tequila. You say that. Yeah. I've never seen you drink tequila in my life. I drink it every now and then. Oh, that's you not true. One of those, bro. Never. Probably pop. Wait. Bruh. 
<laughs> I, I, you guys check out this bro. playlist? That's me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I'll take a shot of tequila right now. Do it. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh. I got work in the morning. One shot? Oh, <laughs> my gosh, dude. I don't have any lemons, bro. Or limes. Okay, so you lime. don't like She's tequila. Come up to Kentucky. You just like yeah. lemon and lime. Yeah, let me, hold on. Let me take a trip to Kentucky real quick, and then when I get back, I'll take yeah, a dude. shot. Okay. When I, get some I got some tequila, and <laughs> I we'll have be here. some Corona, so... You gonna wait on me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be here. Hell yeah. I, uh... I had some notes. I, I ended up writing a lot of notes in the last yeah. 30 minutes. I did not write any notes, so I'm gonna be doing this on the fly. You're good, bro. <laughs> I had some notes on, uh... I won't do that one. That one's kind of spicy. So it's just like talking points, but that one may be a little too spicy. (laughs) Too spicy. Yeah. For this episode. Mm. Yeah. No. Um, So are we starting? Are we we doing this? Oh dude, it's been started. I already did the intro, man. Yeah. No, I meant like, are we we starting like talking about the the play? Oh no, no, yeah, we'll do that later down the oh. down the down the oh, episode. Everybody yeah, knows yeah. you're a crypto bro, man. This is yeah. this has all been going on. Like everybody knows, Jack. Yeah, Jack, you done outed yourself, man. What, what the fuck are my crypto? cats doing? Oh, oh, big stretch. Sorry, uh, my cat's laying with me right now. So is it the cats? Mr. Kitty found his little toy, so now he's like running into his, his name is Mr. Kitty. Yeah, yeah, it's literally they have an episode named Mr. Kitty approved. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Kitty. Yeah, we do. You, you know, you know what I I call mine most of the time. It's sleepy what? Kitty. Literally just Sleepy Kitty. Sleepy. It's always been Sleepy oh. Kitty for years. Yeah. So I took him to the vet, uh, Mr. Kitty. I took him to the vet because he ripped his claw out almost. It's like bleeding yeah. all over the place. It was pretty bad. He had to stay the night at the vet, and I was so worried about him. But the next morning, I went to pick him up. <laughs> and I was like, I'm here for Mr. Kitty. And the lady got on the phone and was like, uh, yeah, I need a discharge for a Mr. Kitty Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing much better. He's running into stuff currently right now because he's playing with his toys. So. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. He's a sweet, sweet boy. He's been sleeping in the bed every night since, so. Oh, wait, can I, can I send a picture of my cat in the group chat? Yeah, you can. Please. Yeah, let, let me find a picture of her. I can take a picture of her right now licking herself, but this will work first. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. Look at that. I want one of those so bad. Yeah. I want she's, one of those so bad. She's, she's really sweet. Um... She she loves like laying between me and Desiree every single night like a big baby. Yeah. Uh, so my buddy, um, one of my friends was going through a divorce, and and his wife had one of those kitties, and it was missing its front leg, like from the knee down. Oh. Okay. It looked like a little chicken leg. I was like, oh my god, dude! I would name this cat Drumstick. <laughs> 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 Got him. Yeah. It, it had three legs. It was, it was the weirdest thing. And I was like, oh my God, I love this cat so much. My, my uncle <laughs> had a three legged dog oh. and he named him Chipper, which, well, now that I think about it, it wasn't the best name. Chipper. Yeah. Dude. So I know I tell Augie this a lot about what I do. Have you ever seen how big those trucks are, Augie? Yeah, we used to have, um, so when I was a kid, I was like uh, probably 12 or 13, one of the neighborhoods we lived in, somebody would have the Schwann truck come by or the, the truck come by, and they would always give us popsicles out of it Sweet. for free. For free. Have you ever seen what they look like, Adam? Yeah, Swan trucks? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Because I took a picture the other day to show somebody how big it was. I think it. Oh goodness! You sneezed. Um, I, have to, I don't remember who it was. It wasn't you, was it, Mark? What? I didn't say. I didn't send a picture of it to you, did I? <laughs> of your Schwann truck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just got the caps lock notification, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I did. 
so a little bit of background. So all sorry, I'll I'll get back to the launch truck in a minute. A little bit of background oh on Discord. If you have Maki, you can do uh, like a credit thing, and then you can run blackjack and stuff. But there's like a secret thing that you can do slots for free, and it's called All In. Yeah, and I've been playing it forever, and I just hit the jackpot randomly. <laughs> yeah, while in and- this. And then I immediately typed in all caps. What the fuck? And uh, yeah. I got warned by Maki. We have the uh, the caps locks, uh, like all caps blocked, so you can't yeah. use like you can't type a sentence in all caps. And, and you've I, got Mark, a million. Our, our fucking mods action page is full of fucking Mark. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, dude. Oh god, you gotta warn me. Um, yeah, yeah. my uh, my across the street neighbor all throughout like my entire life. Had Schwann's delivered to her. Yeah, dude. Are they still yellow? Uh, they used this to be like they yellow, like. and they have like the red, sh- like swan. On oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Just there yeah, you go. Exactly like there. that. Little strawberries. Ooh, and then chicken strawberries oh, and asparagus. It looks a little different than when I last. Yeah, the yellow looks. But yeah, they're the, just like the yellow. Yeah. Giant tanks. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They're like fourteen thousand pounds. Holy hell! Damn. And I hate hitting bumps in those because it's just like it, you just like go up like the thing has hydraulics in it and you're like, oh, my God. Like, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, does your little chair like, have hydraulics in it, too? Like, does your chair? Have, no, like, no, it oh, doesn't. my my truck used to have hydraulics in the chair. And yeah, that's it nice. Yeah, it makes a nice ride. Truck. It smooths it out. Definitely. Especially like going from like Indiana to Kentucky across like the bridges and shit. Yeah, like, they were so old and so like unkept is indiana close to kentucky right above it oh shit i don't know shit about geology it was geography yeah i almost said geology i don't don't know shit about about rocks either yeah i don't know shit about rocks (laughs) (laughs) yeah no most of us don't yeah so yeah i want to talk i don't know y'all got chalupa cabra releasing on friday yeah i want to talk a little bit about that Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of Mark's face when he found out about it. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, like whenever we went into this with Properties of Nature, like we originally talked about like sort of doing a split and then we were like, no, we want to do a, like a completely collaborative album. So we wrote everything together. The Chalupa is the one song that actually is completely split, like right down the middle. The first half is all of Properties of Nature. And then it cuts to the meme where we were going to have Gilbert Gottfried say the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Augie just gets absolutely cracked up about every time I say it. That's amazing, dude. Um, but it's the it's the meme where he says... <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face anymore. Um, where he says, uh, white boys who are busting it down sexual style are not necessarily considered goaded with the sauce. And then it goes straight into our half. And we actually have Isaac Wilson making another appearance on another Properties of Nature song, but with the Lucius on this track. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely yeah. insane. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. He did a fantastic job. He, oh, dude, his voice, he's an, he's an angel. And then, like, like, I'm so excited for Little Garden. Like, so incredibly mm-hmm. excited for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, I guess we'll get into it a little bit later on the podcast, but we did interview him. His interview is going to be dropping in May. And oh, I'm uh, so excited. The, the, so, fun fact, uh, Adam with a T, who's in the chat, your wife actually picked the name of the episode of his playlist. Oh. Yeah. Because hmm. we That's do cool. the Patreon questions, and his wife wanted to know a certain question, and we ended up talking about that for a minute, and then he picked the name of the episode based off of that question. So, fun fact. Yeah, yeah. Let into That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, so Adam, let your wife know. <laughs> I'm trying That's to find a picture to say, there it is. I've been spamming pictures of my cat. I'm sorry. Yeah, I found one finally and I sent back. Hold on. And all these pictures are great. 
great entertainment for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. this is it. A... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm messing around. Yeah, I was going to send a picture of Beerus because he looks like Beerus in that little onesie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the, straight up, though, the, if anybody does ever join the Discord, they can go into the rap like chat logs and they'll see the pictures so yeah, this real, is yeah. really just a this is just an advertisement for the discord yeah listen up all you vip peers and vip we players goddamn patreon now <laughs> <laughs> this game is so aggressive i did we have a patreon now yeah motherfuckers <laughs> and a discord yeah and a youtube discord come but join no it. webcams yet no webcams you can't see our beautiful face not yet yeah shout out to enormous adam on discord hit him up if you need a discord he did a great job on ours it looks cool but guess what you won't know how it looks unless you join that bitch (laughs) if you would please join our discord and our patreon it would be really cool of you we would love you forever we still love you forever even if you don't yeah but you join the patreon you're gonna get stickers you get to dehumanize me yes i don't know what that means go look at the patreon Patreon, yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah, and that's it. That's and it. And subscribe to our fucking YouTube channel. Yeah, comment. Thank you. Review, subscribe. We yeah, love you more. all that stuff. Do everything that you do for all the people that you love on YouTube. Do it for us, too. Yeah. Thanks. We love you. Oh, We're all active yeah. in it. Like, oh, man, maybe time. I need to delete Ghost Chef's unreleased album that's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and do that. Nah. All right, yeah. It's cool, bro. It's cool. <laughs> I don't think it's released yet, so. Oh, and you all missed out as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's Let's deleted. See what you all missed out. It was out. only up for like he a month. To... Yeah. He had I to forgot. get in early. Yeah. It was only up for a limited time. Very limited time. I wish I had more pictures of my kitty on my computer. I downloaded like 10 pictures of beerish just now, and I can't find any of them, so. Yeah, I don't see them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you named your cat Beerus? No, that's what um, Jack's cat looks like in the little hoodie. Oh, oh yeah. I was going to say, yeah, it does. I, I, I thought you might have named it that because of no, DPC. No, no. But... I wish. We have Mr. Wait. Kitty and Momo. Momo's mm-hmm. a brindle. It said, uh, where, where are you going? It said that Lily looks like Beerus with the hoodie on. She, she doesn't think so. She doesn't think so. <laughs> well, never mind then. <laughs> well, oh, it's, shit. it's a non Dragon Ball Z fan, so. Yeah. Damn. Uh, what? Who? You? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Adam, we're going to see Spirit Box on Friday. Yo. Yo. Dude, yeah. Um, that, that reminds dope. me. Uh, our um Randy, he Mark, he got in a show for free, and it was the plot in you. Oh, damn! Oh, for real, they're on the yeah. playlist this week. They are. Yeah, he he said because I talked to him and it was Friday. He was like, "Well, made it in for free and just met the plot in you at the door." Damn! And I was like, "What?" Well, I have a picture with that. Your hair. I have a picture with uh with Landon Tours. You do? Yeah. Remember we so we went to that um it was one of his acoustic shows. It was it was Tillian um He was there? Yeah, Landon Tours. He yeah. he was like the opening act. Oh that's right. I remember now. Yeah, because it was his, his, his acoustic yep, yep, shit. Yep, yep. And then afterwards I went to his table and, and took a picture with him. Was it was that the night you lost your vinyl? Yeah. Man. And then my wife started it for, that word like, with a V, and I was like, "Hey, yeah, my <laughs> mind was uh, you know, <laughs> the night you lost your virginity." I know. I was. I mean, that was like 28. So yeah, I find it so hard to buy vinyl at shows nowadays. It's, it's yeah. too like, clunky. If it's something that I'm like, like, okay, I saw Death Cab for Cutie at the Ryman Auditorium, and whenever we went there. Like they have seats. They're basic. They they're practically church seats. Um, seats. It's pews. like pews first. Yeah, it's almost like pews. And so I did buy like the thank you for today final by Death Cab to like have. But yeah. 
I was sitting down the whole time, so I was like, whatever. Yeah, that's <clears> but nice. any other show, I'm like, it's so hard, like buying merch and you're standing all the time. Yeah. I usually like hook the bag that I get into my belt or something, but. Well, see, I bought it, and then after the show, we ended up going out and like getting drunk, like at a bar, and I left it somewhere. We at all one of went, like, we either all went oh, upstairs no. or we all went to the bathroom, and he left it in the, like, booth. The booth. We came back, yeah. and some idiot actually stole a vinyl. Who does that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. vinyl's pretty expensive, so. I mean, I guess, but come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, I wouldn't, like, morally, I would not steal a vinyl. Yeah. I'd steal, just not a vinyl, all right? <laughs> Actually. Yeah, vinyl I have too much respect for, but, like, packs of Mentos? Yeah. 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 Swiped. Mean, yeah, give me that. They don't need that. Try me, grocery store yeah. clerk. Yeah. <laughs> One of the better candies. Mentos? Yeah. They're just minty, man. Yeah. I mean, oh, they have the fruity flavors. They were one, I like, I like two, both. But they're just, what was the... Go for something, maybe go for, like, the gummy bears. I like those, something. too. What was the candy that I was addicted to in the studio? I choose. I choose. Oh, I choose. I so choose. <laughs> Dude, I had never had them oh before, and we went to record. We were we were recording 40 Rabbit Tavern, I'm pretty sure. That or Caligari, we I'm not sure. No, it was 40 Rabbit Tavern. <laughs> yeah, we were recording that. We were there for a week, and he bought high chews, and they were just sitting on the table inside of, like, the... It wasn't the live room, but, like, in the room where he had all his equipment and stuff, and we were just sitting there. I think I ate half the bag on the first day. I was like, I got a headache. <laughs> it's like, no shit, dude. You just had so much sugar. Uh, you, have you had high chew? <laughs> no, I haven't right. actually. Just, just imagine, just oh my imagine gosh, like never Starburst, but get, but get now and later, but soft. I get shit on Starburst. Oh man, so good. Yeah, yeah, they're like now and later, but they're soft. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love soft. They'll, they'll like, have them at the little like, uh, Mart uh, we went to last time. Yeah. Starburst. Starburst just came out with one that's like, um, like air. Oh, Starburst the gummies. Air. Yeah, uh, like the those were, those ones. underwhelming. Yeah, so good. Underwhelming. I like those. I actually yeah. preferred the Skittles gummies. Those were fucking good. My favorite you gummies they had the weed gummies. Is it weed gummies? Yeah. Uh -oh. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, the Skittles bubble gum? Skittles. Yeah, they had Skittles bumble gum. It was like in a tin container. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And it's just like every other, like, f f like bubble gum, like, like really... Fruity like that, like, like, I'm pretty like that. sure that's called yeah. juicy fruit, but yeah, no, no, no. I was talking well, about like it was Skittles bubblegum. Yeah, Skittles bubblegum. Skittles bubblegum. Chocolate Skittles. Yeah, uh, Skittles bubblegum and the flavor. It was really good, but it lasted like 10 seconds and then kind of like uh, zebra yeah. stripes. That was the same way with bubblegum. Yeah, like yeah, zebra yeah, stripes. Right. They tasted so good, but then it lost its mm -hmm. flavor in like five and a half mm -hmm. seconds. Yeah, yeah. And I gave it that half just just to be generous. It came in like a little band aid tin. Yeah. <laughs> well, it gave us all five and a half seconds. Hot and heavy for five and a half seconds. God. Fuck yeah. Childhood. Wow. Yeah. My wife sent me one of those like uh, 90s nostalgia things, and it's like a bunch of pictures from the 90s. And do uh, you remember those little like coupon things that they At used the to have, like hang off the aisles? Yeah. And you could just like, they were like yeah. little red yeah. like, coupon things. Yeah, they still yeah. have them some places. Do they? Oh man, those are yeah. fucking dope. I see. I would always pull one this out. Is what, that's what that's what they look like, Martin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just like pull them out and just like play with them and shit. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't even use that. He just yeah. You see it, Martin? Do look good. Yeah, those do look good. Yeah, they were good. Yeah, I also just... like those discontinued Altoids that they used to make. Yeah, those were the tangerine. Ones. Oh, the sours. I'll toy yeah, Stowers, yeah. 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 Fucking good. Oh, God, I love those so much. You know, the, you ever seen the TV show Good Mythical? I mean, not TV show, the YouTube channel Good Mythical yep. Morning? I've heard yeah. of it. They, okay, so they got some discontinued Altoids that were Sours, and they bought them off of David Cross. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Why is David Cross David. selling Altoid Sours on eBay? David Cross got the Altoid Sour black market on lock, huh? <laughs> He got something. I see. I'm, I'm looking on here. They have like citrus sours, raspberry sours, and tangerine showers, and then the tangerine ones is the one. Yeah, that tangerine. 
Was I remember the that one? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. But this is this is what happens when you when they sit out. This looks so gross. Look at this. Hold up. Listen. Wait, this is, I love the uh the video element to this this episode. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's what they do. They they get all like melted and stuff and then they just harden and get stuck. But there's I, your tangerine sours, dude. I'd eat that. Huh? <laughs> the whole the whole block of it, yeah. I'd try it, yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh. There's like juices in there. That's all right. Listen. Uh so we were speaking of the plot and you like ten minutes ago. Did y'all enjoy that song? I, I didn't listen to it. Let's see what I wrote about it. It was on the playlist. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, no, I thought you were talking about I wrote the nothing one. at all. Yeah. I, uh, I listened to it. I mean, it was cool. That was one of their newer ones, right? I definitely wrote, I, I definitely listened to it. Like, yeah. A song really stuck yeah, out really to me. I, I wrote, yeah, yeah, for wrote sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like Landon's um, voice. His voice is, is just amazing. No, I'm probably oh, going to yeah, like, I enjoyed that one for sure. I'm probably going to yeah, do like a little bit of like a refresher thing because. When we start talking about it, I'm gonna like listen to snippets of stuff so I can remember them. Yeah, let me do that while I've got my my earbuds in. So this is the first time uh, that I have actually taken notes on these kinds of episodes. I probably should have taken notes, but I didn't. Uh, he turned. <laughs> got a <damn> remark. <laughs> I thought he turned it off, so I did something in all caps. <laughs> he said he turned it off. I thought he did. <laughs> Yeah, Mark. Bro, I can't deal with you, dog. <laughs> this dude. Oh, man. I swear. So, Adam with a T sent something in the chat the other day, and he used caps and then a, an emoji. So, I was like, oh, hey, Mark, you can use an emoji and, and get no. rid of the spam filter. And then, like, immediately two seconds after I sent that message, I got a warning. <laughs> I'm just a problem. I'm just a problem. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, we can hop into the playlist. Actually, no, fuck, we got to name our playlist, man. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, yeah, we I forgot y'all yeah. was doing mm. this. Mm. Yeah. Tangerine Sours. I don't know what you're going to name. Tangerine Sours? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that would oh, work. Yeah, let's Tangerine do that. Yeah, candy. Tangerine Sours. Discontinued Candy. I like the Tangerine Sours a little okay. bit better. Yeah. All right. I like it. Yeah, that that's great. You know, that makes me want to name a song that now. Tangerine <laughs> Sours. No, we've already got fucking all kinds of weird food name songs. Hell Nothing yeah, released. You, you but thought like you, you, you thought you thought it was going to end there, Mark. We're just getting yeah. started with these food name songs. Is it like, going to be Sandrine Towers or Sandrine Towers? Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's actually not a bad idea, Mark. <laughs> Shit. Is that going to be just our next? Like two, like a food, like two word food names. Yeah, with... dude, I want to name a song with cinnamon, but not cinnamon schnapps, like cinnamon stick or like. Or you cinnamon. can do cinnamon schnapps, but then an S on cinnamon and then a C on schnapps. You can do synonym schnapps. Synonym, synonym schnapps. <laughs> what the heck? They're like synonym rolls. What? Yeah, I never seen that meme. Yeah, synonym rolls. Yeah. Synonym. <laughs> yeah, we could do something like that. I'm going to look up like random fruits and foods and stuff and use them. Sorry, y'all like writing? Uh, we've had songs. Uh, y'all have songs? Yeah. Yeah, we've got one that's called Mark's Demise. It's really dark and deep. Um, nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we actually, we recorded a song. I'm pretty sure... I don't think it'd be a bad thing to say this. We recorded an entire song. Like, we wrote a, like, metal core, like, super hardcore song about... Is it about Pokemon cards? What was it about? The oh. song we did with Willis. Oh, yeah. I, uh... That is the one that I got rid of all the lyrics to. So you don't know what he's saying? Because... It's all screamed in like the most deathcore vocal possible. <laughs> uh, we recorded a metal. song. 
like we recorded a song with our buddy William Willis who's in Isolator and it's it was so good <laughs> but it just needed to be mixed like real bad yeah we we're like we're gonna go metalcore for like one song metalucious but it just yeah metalucious is it gonna get released that's our evolution that's our that's our fusion form <laughs> But um, record oh, a yeah. song. But why are y'all sitting on it? Release it, man. Dude, we've got so what? many like random songs. I can't do anything with that. That, that was just like for a, a side project, or uh, that wasn't I even thought it was for us. No, that was a that was a parody song I was making with Willis. Yeah, yeah. What was it about? Was it about Pokemon cards? Is that what it was? Yeah, it's about time traveling to get Pokemon <laughs> card to pay off your student loans, and then yeah. the guy ends up falling in love with some girl on Hot Topic when he time travels back to two thousand and whatever. That is that is amazing. Yeah, it's anyway, it we sounds have that like song that's probably never going to be released. Uh, the way that it feels, oh. I think our next song probably is never going to be released. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm send another picture in the in the chat since we're we're doing that and talking. Um, but um, you want to see one of Mark's first shows with us, like a picture of it? Yeah, and the one where I yeah. took the cane on stage. Uh, no, you're not playing. You're not holding the cane in that one. That's using that small bass. Oh yeah. Wait, what bass is that? That's not the national. What bass is that? That's that Ibanez one. That's that's early, early Lucius, like probably twenty seventeen. I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, that was whenever we played the cover of Animali, and we did the oh cover. Oh my god, of, that's amazing! Of we, we did, did a cover of Amber song. by Three Eleven. Three Eleven. Yeah. Animali is like my favorite Incubus song because yes. his vocal runs in that song are just like. So fucking good, man. Yeah, we like I was a brand new member in the band and I was like, I really want to sing Anna Molly. And they were yeah. like, yeah, but, but Jake, he he kind of gets dibs on singing that. But you can sing uh, Amber by 311. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess Amber is the color of my energy tonight. So. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. I got to do the backing vocals That's on Anna awesome. Molly, though, and I love it. <laughs> so it's like still fun to do. Yeah, I started doing a thing where I found like a bunch of our old photos and was doing like uh, a Lucius Fun Facts. And then I decided to stop because I was going to wait till we built up more fan base to start doing that. So, yeah, there's a lot of old photos like that. That's just like weird, awkward in between phases of Lucius. That's awesome. And that'd be, that's cool content, man. You should just post them anyway. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, this was before Mark, but that was the original lineup before Mark, and I don't know. Jack, yeah, your hair is amazing. Oh, thanks. I, I don't. It's not that long in, anymore, but yeah, you got the business yeah, casual going on. Is that... He's got to look like a good boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when I worked for uh, Budweiser when I was I was eighteen, I worked for Budweiser. Illegal. And I, no, it's not illegal. I just can't drink. <laughs> and when they had sure. us come in on Saturdays, they couldn't pay me in a 30 pack. And I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> but uh, I lost my job and then I got it back. But two weeks before I got it back, I, I pierced my, my lips. I did snake bites and they didn't allow that. So I had to take them out. I only had them for two weeks and I have the scars forever. <laughs> I remember that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I got him pierced in my buddy's bathroom because I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's okay, buddy. Yeah, well, I was an idiot. All right, I've grown up a little. Was that before? Or after? I got a friend who's a uh, he's a pretty uh, yeah. I'll say it. He's a he's a pretty decent chef out in Louisville. Yeah, uh, and he's worked for a bunch of like pretty good restaurants and stuff. And uh, he pierced his nipple in high school with a safety pin in the gym before school oh started. Oh my god, dude! See that one's no tough, shot. man. Because I've heard, I've heard two stories of 
like one of them I know personally, and the other one is my my wife's dad. He had a friend who got his, his nipples pierced, and he said he passed out. <laughs> And then I got a buddy who got his nipples pierced and he passed out. So I was like, bro, that's too, too many. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any piercings, any tattoos. Yeah. I have a bunch. And see, I didn't learn my lesson with my friend piercing my lips. And I had a really shitty tattoo on my arm that was done from one of my brother's friends because he was just learning how to tattoo. So Might as well. It's my Zodiac sign. Mm. And I... Uh, Everybody thinks it says Chloe. Oh. <clears throat> or Cleo. Everybody thinks it says Cleo. Oh. Yeah. And it's supposed to be Leo, I guess. Yeah. I can show you. It's still on the internet what it's supposed to look like. But it's it's pretty horrible. It's pretty bad. Like the worst tattoo I have. It's cool. Though. It makes for a fun story. Yeah. And then also when we were younger, Adam... Me and Adam branded each other. Yeah, I was going to say, was this the <laughs> oh, snake guy's one before or after the branding? Yeah, it was uh, before the branding. So I never did. Uh, apparently, I'm yeah, still so a fucking idiot. All right, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we heated up a hot pocket it was knife. A, it was like a, like a hunting yeah. knife, almost. <laughs> yeah. It was a hunting knife, like a yeah. knife. Man, I'm only paying attention to the first couple of words. <laughs> yeah, we heated up a, like a hot hunting. Like I heated up this hunting knife, and uh, we branded each other with it. I heard we heated up a hot pocket, and I was like, "Yeah, that'll definitely brand you." Fuck yeah, like, those are hot enough for sure. I got a hot pocket brand. There's another name for those little sleeves, man, and it's a, a hot, hot pocket, pocket brand. Pot Pretty hot sure hot I branded pocket. the roof of my mouth a few times too. Yeah, so I'm right there. We with wanted you, to get proper yeah. brands, no, so didn't. we wanted to do a test run to see if we could take it, and uh, we never got the proper yeah. brands. So we never did. Yeah, no, we just, couldn't take yeah, it because it hurts like a bitch. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. It yeah, it's like, the, pretty good. it's like the month Adams after is, that, that hurts worse than the actual branding. Yeah, Adams is on his thigh and mine's on my calf. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're idiots. Anyways, let's talk about the <laughs> tangerine sour flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about how dumb me and Adam are. Let's <laughs> no, it's all good. What do y'all think about so, the new What Was Me? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I have notes about this. Uh, so, uh, 100%, the new singer, I think, um, is morally a lot better than Tyler Carter. Yeah, well, he, that's well, how he that's sang from before. That's what I, yeah, I saw all this. I, like, looked him up because I was like, who is this singer? Um, yeah, yeah he, he's, he had a hard time. He was the original singer. Hands. No. no, Tyler Carter was the original, and then he was I, I thought in the... No, this I guy was like, what I before. read was this guy was the singer in, for like a very short amount of time, and then Tyler joined. Oh, oh okay, I didn't know that. That's have good. you ever, um, yeah, have you ever listened to the Cozy Representative, Augie? Oh, yeah, I yeah, I have. He's like, yeah, he like goes through all the history of these bands, like even before they were like the bands they were in. And That's like, cool. Yeah, he did. He's done What Was Me. What, what else has he done? He's done. He did DGD. Uh, yeah, he did DGD. He, he did, did like Attack uh, Attack. He did a bunch of stuff, yeah. 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 Oh, it's a, sure. lot of the, a lot of the scene mm-hmm. bands. There you go. Scene bands. Yeah. So, man, I get Disco, Fall Out Boy, you name it. Even Mark's favorite band. Uh, I can't remember the name of that one. Neon something. Neon pop punk bands. Mark's favorite type of band. No. Yeah, neon pop punk bands, dude. I do like some pop punk bands, man. Yeah. I don't know about neon. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That like a shoegazy pop punk type deal? No, what neon pop punk is like. What is that? I'm not good. You, you don't even know, man. You don't even know. He I just do love the pop punk representation on this album. Or Jack on this just out so. here creating he's new just, genres he's just saying words <laughs> I, I heard of I a new will. genre today and it blew my mind but it makes me think like there's a lot of bands that i've listened to that i actually really enjoy that are in this genre oh. and it's called bubble grunge bubble grunge. and it oh. is just female fronted pop or like punk grunge bands and it oh, is okay. so good okay so neon pop punk is also known as neon pop, and it's a form of pop punk that emphasizes synthesizers. That's a weird sentence. Emphasizes synthesizers. So it would literally be Motion City soundtrack, oh. so that makes sense. 
Damn, no, I feel, like, it was, I feel uh, like Oprah right now. Everybody getting warnings. <laughs> it was you get a warning. The, you get a warning. The mains. <laughs> that was Neon Pop Punk. The mains, Mark. The mains. Oh, the mains. Yeah. Okay. I don't know the mains. What? I know the main. Yeah, the main. Well, it says the mains on the thing, but I guess it is just the main. I don't know why I put an S after it, but yeah, the main is one up. It's a neon pop punk band. It's yeah, a, it's right here. It says that cute is what we aim for. It's a neon pop punk band. Oh, I fucking love cute is what we aim for. I do too. Like their first yeah. album. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, the song. What was the song? Uh, sweat the battle before the battle sweats you. Yeah, yeah. That song. Oh my god, I, I, I really remember just like. Oh my god, <laughs> driving around in my. 2002 yeah. Trailblazer, going to the mall, mm. listening to that, and then getting on the T Pain Auto Tune app. Yeah, I really like the uh, the days. guitar in Finger Twist and Split. Oh yeah. See, now, this just confirms that you lo- like Neil Pop Punk bands, like I just obviously, said. obviously I do. Turns out, obviously I do. Yeah. I don't listen to good pop punk, all right? <laughs> yeah, you know, like. <laughs> Hey, whenever I was in my pop punk, oh shit! It's What's Josh. up, Josh? Um, whenever I was in my pop punk band, they were always like trying to get me to listen to like Neck Deep and uh, State Champs and stuff. And I was like, "You guys show me Four Year Strong, and I'm gonna stick with this for a while." Yeah, Four Year Strong is good too. I, I've never listened to them. Oh, they're good. Really, they're really good. I, you gotta understand, like I like I said in the previous podcast episode i was late to the party with a lot of this stuff yeah what was your uh notes on what was me so i thought oh, the yeah. song sounded oh me or mark you can go first <laughs> yeah you go uh, ahead, man. i was just gonna say it, it's definitely got a very mainstream vibe to it um with the rock sound you know kind of like how a lot of these like Heavier metalcore bands, they kind of, I, I guess, uh, Memphis May Fire is one of the better examples where they've kind of done that. Yeah. I don't know if you would call that like, yeah, you know, I don't think that's butt rock. I think it's more like arena rock. Yeah. Um, but it's got like a small snippet of like their old, like, style of what they used to play. I didn't think it was bad by any means. I thought it was pretty good. I just felt like a lot of those bands are moving towards that. If it works for them, great. You know, but I, I kind of feel like you should kind of have a little bit more of your like roots in there just a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe yeah. that's just me. It's it's still Michael Bond, though, right? Yeah, it is. No, it is. Okay. It has to be. What? Yeah. He's yeah. back. I thought when he got kicked out of issues, he didn't do he anything. Did. Else. No, he, he did. did. He did something he else did something called, um... for a bit and was like, I'll never go back to what was me. And then, well, there he is. Yeah, and then they were like, yo, you want a paycheck? And he was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, because I remember why they kicked him. Yeah, why they kicked him out of uh, issues, yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. I remember. I remember. They said he, uh, he didn't yes. contribute. Yeah, they said they had paid for his vocal lessons and stuff, and he wasn't even going to them. Yeah, they said that he didn't write lyrics, he didn't contribute to hardly he any just of the music up, process dude. or anything. So. What a boss. Yeah. Shit. I don't, I don't blame him. <laughs> Mark, what was your notes? Um, this singer is morally better than Tyler, but Absolutely. I'm just not sure about this song. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I kind of agree with Jack. Like, you know, we can sit here and be like, oh, you know, like these these bands, you know, they're starting to go kind of mainstream. And like, you can't blame them for that. Yeah. But at a certain point, like, it does feel like it pulls away from their former sound and it feels like they're not like yeah they're just not doing what they're good at and they try something new i i enjoyed the song regardless i mean i think that's the point of it is just to kind of like try to be enjoyable by people who don't necessarily listen to your music like yeah honestly i never really even listened to woe is me i listened Mm. to more issues so yeah same the only bit of woe is me i ever really knew was just that first that album Tyler Carter was in it mm-hmm. <laughs> like that was it and I enjoyed issues uh for a minute yeah but, yeah uh, I mean I like the song I think it's it's all right I hope my, my hope is that I know Hans had a lot of issues I hope he's uh 
better. So, well, it's kind of God. So this wasn't on the playlist, but I'm going to use this as an example. So when Attack Attack came out with that new album, you go Attack, back Attack, and you listen US. to it. Yeah, yeah, U.S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to put the delineation where you don't know which oh, okay. band it is. Oh, yeah. Well, when they <laughs> came out with that new album and stuff, you know, the first couple of singles when the, in the process of when it was coming out, like people were like, yeah, um, this doesn't really sound like the Attack Attack I remember. It was really, it had mainstream sounds and stuff, and it kind of had a little bit of that heavy stuff, but then they, some of the songs on there, they did go back to like their roots and were just like, heavy and yeah, kind of like attack attack i think what killed it for them though was because they didn't have caleb and they didn't have johnny yeah so, like those were the mainstays of attack attack they, i mean the, the yeah. singles really didn't surprise me though not you know you're talking about how they how they turned out or yeah they were actually they weren't bad you know you know they had um the guy from i am abomination filling in for their shows near the end of like their 2000 <laughs> whatever was it 13 era is that yeah. when they ended 2012 2013 yeah, I think probably. Right now. yeah it almost makes me wonder yeah it almost makes me wonder why they didn't just ask him to do the singing and some of the stuff since he had done it with them before yeah i mean i like that guy's voice i, I really like i am abomination a lot yeah that's all that you, song you, uh, you put on y'all's playlist last time that song fucking bangs oh heir to the throne yeah with Polyphia? Yeah. yeah. No, that yeah. song's great. They've got a lot of good, like that entire like first album, like um, something of the heist, Passion of the Heist or whatever. It's, it's really good. And then like the second one that they made was really good too. Um, I don't know. They're just one of those bands where like they didn't get picked up by a label just because they look like a bunch of average guys that didn't meet the the look standard that most of those bands had at that time. Yeah. It's kind of sad actually, because they're really good. Nobody wanted them though. Cause they just looked like average Joe's and not like the rest of those bands. Yeah. So I don't mean, did you like the, what was me singing? Uh, it was, I, what about the inner Shikari? Yeah, I, I liked I it. I liked it. I'm, I'm like a probably in the minority here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they can do no wrong to me i don't know what it is i'm just attached to them like <laughs> for whatever reason they can literally put out a yeah bubble gum pop sock song out tomorrow and i'll be like it was great loved it yeah i am um, i've been a big fan of inner shikari ever since like 2006 i think it might have been whenever i first heard okay Did it's you time hear for that plan on b madden yeah on... yes that's yeah i heard it that's where i heard it uh, my buddy that. showed it to me and I was like, yo, yeah. what is this? And then immediately, like we went out that day, we went to a Sam Goody. I bought a copy of mm -hmm. Take to the Skies <laughs> and just fell in love after that. I saw them live at, I think it might have been Mayhem Festival, like right after Common yeah. Dreads came out. But then I listened to, what was that album? I'm trying to find it here, but Spotify is so weird with how they put albums and stuff. Um, it was like right after a Flash Flood of Color. I kind of fell off for a bit. Didn't get back in until like after the Spark mm -hmm. came out and, or came out. <laughs> and it kind of got into that. Nothing is True was really good. But then, yeah, this new song, I really yeah. liked it. I really liked it. I, to me, like my notes literally said uh uh Rue nope, can do that's no wrong. exactly what i thought dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then i have I one mean, more these are like the bigger bands that are on here uh what about better lovers yeah better lovers so that was the song that you put on today you literally yes. put it on today i watched I the music video um I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't, I don't recognize the people in it. I I know I saw something about every time I die. Yeah. But Hello. I don't so, recognize the faces. Wait, it's, uh, is it working? Uh, yeah, we can hear. You. Oh shit! It's Josh. You sound bad. No, you sound good, dude. You sound amazing. Hey, you sound beautiful. Hey, you sound amazing. Hey, <laughs> you sound beautiful. 
<laughs> Thank you. You're a beautiful person, Augie. Oh, that's so sweet. You too, we all Josh. Love you. <laughs> Thanks, Augie. You're a real one. <laughs> Give me your boats. Yes, oh, you Josh have all 13 of them. <laughs> all 13 boats. I just, I just derailed the whole thing. Hopped in, ruined the entire podcast. It's dead now. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm no, you're good, fine, man. man. It's no, no. Honestly, Josh, you're welcome, man. Like, yeah. No, I just wanted to you say are a part about, of Pon uh, Lucius, yeah. you know. Yeah, you want to yeah. say anything about uh, Chalupa Cabra real quick? I know it comes out Friday. Yeah, I I think it's my favorite song on the EP. Um, yeah, uh, Properties of Nature and Lucius. We basically uh, wrote like. Properties of Nature wrote like one half of the song and then Alucius like continued with their half of the song. So it's like both of us wrote half of the song. It's really cool. It has yeah. like a complete vibe change in the middle. Yeah. But it, it, it vibes so well. It starts out like all spooky and like like hectic and then uh it gets all like funky and like upbeat. Yeah. Uh towards the end. It's great. It's it's such a sick song. Isaac's on it. Love yes. anytime Isaac sings on anything. For sure. Well, hell yeah. Good song. See, the only reason Josh is doing this right now is because I've been on their podcast randomly twice now and crashed yeah. it. Way, way to go, Josh. <laughs> well, I also happened to take a nap today. Um, so uh, I was able to stay up a little later and I was cleaning the house. Well, hell yeah, man. So glad you're here. It's cool that I yeah, it's cool cool that I got to to drop in. Thanks for yeah, man. dropping in. Yeah, I dropped in. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Who is Man X twenty seven? Wait, that's, no, that's, 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 that's that's Adam. Yeah, that's me. That's Adam, Adam, dude. I thought it sounded like Rickard for a second. I was like, No, uh, Rickard's not in here, man. Yeah. He's he's, okay. he's he's a well, sleepy boy. Hi, Adam. Uh, all right, I'm gonna kick you. All right, you have a good okay. night. I hope you continue to listen. You too. <laughs> I will continue to listen. I'll be in the chat. All Love right. you guys. Love you, dude. Dude, Josh is a real <laughs> one for sure, man. Like for sure, we love Josh over here. He's helped us a lot. He's the one that hooked us up with the the Isaac interview. So. Like 100% too. Like, I don't think we could have done this with any other band. Like, honestly, Properties of Nature has been so awesome to work with. So welcoming. Like, for sure. It's like, it's a big Pond Lucius family. That's yeah. amazing. He hooked us up with the yeah. I Gossip interview too. He's been like, he's been hella help. Amazing dude. But anyway, so better lovers. Yeah. So it's Will Putney from end it's um the drummer for dillinger escape plan and it's jordan buckley and then it's also the singer for end and fit for an autopsy so wait the drummer for dillinger escape plan is that not uh what was his name chris penny anyway what'd y'all think of it did y'all listen, yeah, have a chance really to listen good. To it? i know i kind of threw it on you but i listened to it once yeah it was pretty good yeah i mean whenever you have a super group like that like you expect yeah. it to be amazing it's uh clayton goose I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Holy Oak. Okay, a lot yeah. of Chris made. Penny was the former drummer of Dillinger Escape Plan. I only know his name because he was a co drummer for Year of the Black Rainbow right after Josh Shepard left. Yeah. All right. Now um, we're going to get into what y'all thought. Yeah, you can. We'll, we'll let uh, Mark go first. Mark, um, which songs did you really enjoy and why? Holy shit. Holy shit. There's so <laughs> many. I wrote so many notes. But I'm gonna. I'm just gonna name five. All right. That I really, 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 really liked, and then I'm gonna make a couple of comments about other ones. Um, yeah. So first off, man, I got so many notes too. Uh, of course, I'm gonna have to throw in Fire Tools. Uh, yes. Ever since I heard like the Mutant Puke interview, because there's a podcast that is kind of like friends with Pawn and everything. Uh, there's a podcast called the Mutant Puke Podcast. A uh, dude who runs that. His name's Jake. He did a couple of videos, like live videos, that we did um, in Lexington one time, because he lives here in Kentucky, too. Uh, they did an interview with Angel Mark Lloyd, uh, Fire Tools. Uh, everything that she does is amazing. I, I love 
all of fire tools and i only heard about them like two months ago yeah uh absolutely love them all right the song that i chose on there because i listened to their album their new album that just came out the song that i right. chose the reason i chose it is because the beginning of it reminds me of mario 64 jolly rogers bay theme that's the thing i feel like this entire album has a, <laughs> kind of like a retro video game kind of feel to it yeah because the song that i put on our vip playlist thing which was uh thank you saturn or, yeah 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 it was like thank you uh council of saturn or whatever it sounds like wave race 64 to me so i yeah. feel like there's a lot of like huge like video game retro yeah music like go listen to there. you know the jolly roger bay theme right that's the underwater one in mario 64 oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah 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 i swear it sounds like every time i listen to it i'm like man i want to play mario <laughs> It's yeah, it's everything that she makes. It's just so good. I I just absolutely love Fire Tools. Um, yeah. Origami Angel. I've heard of this band. I've heard mm-hmm. of this band for a while, but I've never actually listened to them. Yeah. It is not anything that I would have expected them to sound like being in. I'm assuming like this genre. This is honestly the only song I've heard by them. It's Don't base absolutely your amazing. Song song. It's great. It's fun, but that's not necessarily what they sound like. <laughs> I absolutely love this song. Yeah, though. I like this because this song in particular reminds me of like, what was that album? Uh, you know the song "Hair" by the Early November. Yes. Like it reminds me of like everything that Early November's ever put out. It's got that classic emo sound, mm-hmm. and then "Hair." was a very Main Street pop sounding song is absolutely just if that's what it is, then that's I, I love that so much that thank you, New Jersey. Dude, yeah. it's just it's just such a good song. I that's absolutely. So, man, so you remember when uh, Simple Plan did the Scooby Doo theme song? Yeah. What's new Scooby Doo? Yeah. That's, that's the that's like almost it's I think it's like a beat off or something like that. But it it, 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 it almost reminds me of what's new Scooby Doo. I can see that for sure. But it is a really fun song. I enjoyed it. I can absolutely see that. There's one that like hit me so hard in the feels. Uh, it was uh, it's adjust the sails. If we were a ship, mm. we'd be sinking. Adjust the sails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like straight up. Like I, I feel like that's just my life. It's yeah. like stuff that I've heard forever. It's like <laughs> go to therapy, work on your communication type deal. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it, it honestly, it spoke so much to me. It was, it's just such a good song. I, I see um, him all over my TikTok. So I was like, I'll add it. I'm going to do a few more. Sorry. Uh, so Resilia. Of course. This, this entire, like that entire EP. Daisy's a real one. Like, mm-hmm. uh, absolutely amazing. I heard that. Uh, I heard through like Mutant Puke that John Benoit is like a huge Coheed and Cambria fan. And yeah. honestly, uh, if he ever listens to this, uh, John, hi, my name's Mark. I've liked Coheed since I was two thousand, and like since I was like twelve years old in two thousand three. Used to be like, <laughs> if you know like deep Coheed lore on the Cobalt and Cassium forums, there was a cover band. I want to start something like that with you. Yeah, so just gonna throw that out. I'll, uh, I hit him up, and um, they're on tour right now. And after tour, he's supposed to John Benoit is supposed to come on. So hopefully, we'll have an episode with him soon, and I'll let him know that you're looking to start a Go Heat cover band. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I've got all my stuff ready to go. Like, and I can play the rhythm if you want to do those Travis Dever leads, dude. Come on, yeah. yes, please. <laughs> um, so I heard that. So full blown meltdown. Uh, let it hang. Mm-hmm. That song, I heard that it's like a DIY, like one man band type deal. It is, yeah. Insane. Shout out for to a him, one man man band. He, uh, that song. Oh my god. Real quick, shout out to Full Blown Meltdown. He's uh he's on my Twitter and he does this thing and it's like uh every day he supports a new DIY band. So he sh- like shouts out a new DIY band on his Twitter every single day. And he's been doing it for like 200 and something days straight at this point so shout out to that dude for keeping the scene alive yo that's insane yeah like that it's it's in that song just the let it hang that's such a good song oh yeah. my god i really am just like giddy because i did like a lot of this there are very few things that i wrote nothing for at all yeah um, well, i'm glad dude that's awesome i have a couple more and then i'm gonna do a couple of my jokes uh so okay. 
Aviations, I fell in love with the Safe House music video. Mm-hmm. Whenever I first saw that a couple of months ago, this song just goes so hard. Uh, what was the song name? Legends. Yeah, it's just Legends. Yeah, it, is, it just goes so hard. So good. Yeah. It's their heaviest song to date, man. And he, he, we interviewed him and he was like, man, I can't scream, dude. So, and just to hear him scream on this is fucking. Honestly, awesome. if he can't scream, then he is, it, yeah. whatever he did on this song. Yeah, he's, he's must have been working right. on it or something. Yeah. I love it. It's so good. Uh, oh, and Caustic Waves. So I, I know this guy like literally just joined the Discord too. Mm-hmm. But Evolution is just such a good song. Like it, it reminds is. me. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's so nostalgic. But it's so it's just so good too. Yeah, it's just so good. Loved it. Let's see. All right, I'll go into the jokes now. Uh, All right. Hey, it, it wasn't really much of jokes, uh, but. Nothing Nowhere uh, really preferred the Will Ramos song. Um, and it, it, personally for me, uh, it was only really good once Spencer came in. Yeah. Um, but it, it's not bad. I do like the whole album, like in the context of the entire album, like that entire album is amazing. Yeah. Um, but that the fact song, that he's DIY too, like, I mean, I know he's got a lot more money than most DIY bands do, but still he did it all himself. So yeah. Shout out to it's that guy. Really good. So uh, Danny Brown and the JPEG Mafia song sounds like Andre 3000, and I yeah. can't let go of that <laughs> at all. Uh, Gavin Cole sounds a lot like John Legend. He's got like that same timbre as yeah. John Legend, but it's dope. I really liked it. Um, you know who that is, right? No. Matt Burridge from Pulses. So Danny Brown is Matt Burridge? No, no. Um, G- the G- Gavin Cole and um, BD oh. Love song. Uh, Matt Burridge did the beat for that song. Oh, so he did the beat. So he did Deadlines, which was a fucking banger. Dude. And then he did the beat for the I, Gavin Cole song. Yeah, Matt Burridge. If that's his voice, that was straight up amazing. I, I, it, it blew me away to hear that because I was like, who the fuck is this? Because it did not sound like Matt at all. If that's Matt singing on that song, fucking props to him, man, because that sounds amazing. Because I know that he did the Mutant Puke podcast theme, too, and it's yeah. very heavy. So I'm like, wow, like this guy can do everything then if that's Matt yeah. Burridge. Yeah, for real. Um, Scuff Mixon uh, sounds a lot like Oliver Tree slash MGMT, but <laughs> it is probably like one of my favorite songs on this entire playlist. Yeah, he has um, another one called Bank Broke that we reviewed last month, and it's so good. I listened to like three of his songs in the last like six hours. Like it, Scuff Mixon is great. Yeah, and the music video for this song is great too. Yeah. It's so good. Um, Garden is the guy that Macklemore wishes he could have sounded like. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's like a real vibe. It's such a good song. And like, there's so much empathy in the song. He's like telling such a good story. It's yeah. Garden was amazing. And then, uh, yeah. So you put Zakari on here. Whenever I first listened to that, I was like, I feel like. I know this name from somewhere and literally like this week I finished a podcast. It's called to live and die in LA. Mm. Uh, It's hosted by this guy who's a Rolling Stone uh, invest or like a Rolling Stone journalist, but he uh, became an investigative reporter after he was contacted by uh, he's really good friends with Mike Einzinger, who's the guitarist of Incubus. Oh, okay. Um, he like is a neighbor with him, and uh, his wife was really good friends with his wife, or with Mike's wife, and uh, he becomes like a reporter who works on this missing persons case out of Malibu in L.A. for a girl named Elaine Park. And at the end of the podcast and everything, after everything's said and done, Mike actually, Mike Einzinger actually wrote a guitar riff and sent some of Elaine Park's like poetry and lyrics to Zakari and Zakari made a song oh, that's with awesome. her lyrics. It's called Look Up at the Light. It's uh it's really good. Uh Zakari's really good. Yeah, I mean he was on Black Panther like soundtrack. Like Zakari's yeah. just and it's got Absol on it too. So Absol you know it's gonna is, be an absolute yeah. banger. And then after that, man, Candle Flame by Jungle. I, I feel like the yeah. sampling on that song is just had me doing body body rolls too. That song, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Eric the it's, Architect and Jungle, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I could keep on talking because I have like so many notes for everything, but I'll give other people the 
Dal Av does remind me of Jared Alonji in a bad way. Ah, uh, yeah. Jackson, so I think the screamer on that song is Jackson Rose, and he does, I'm assuming it's called like trap core, so it's like rap and it's like uh, post hard, like, well, it's like metal core and rap. Yeah. So he raps a lot of the like screamy vocals. It's, it's, it's interesting. Like it remind me a lot like of Jared Alonji's Beating a Dead Horse album yeah. that he came out with in like 2015. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't bad, but if it was on a parody album like that, it would have fit in more. Yeah. You want to give Jack the reins? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I'm going to try my best not to talk anymore. I have so many notes. <laughs> Jack, what you got for us? Um, so I'm going to have to just like look through the list. Oh, you're and, good, dude. Uh, just like, but the, definitely the, is it, is it Omerda? Yeah. Is that Omerda, say? yeah. Omerda. Yeah, that song was really good. Definitely some Slipknot and System mm-hmm. of a Down vibes. Um, yeah. For sure. Just because of some of the guitar parts and some of the random stuff. Really enjoyed that. Definitely caught me off guard because I did not expect that. Are they going to shout Obviously, out for Ross Robinson? Ross Robinson? He is the he is a big time producer in like the new metal scene. He also produced the first uh, the Blood Brothers. I think it was the first one that the Blood one of the Blood Brothers albums. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I know who the Blood Brothers are, but I haven't listened to them too much. Yeah, Ross Robinson. He's done like Corn, uh, the nineteen ninety four Corn uh, album. He did um, Life Is Peachy. He did. Went biscuit, soul fly, uh, a bunch Death of Tones, metal yeah, shit. Nice. He produced it. Yeah. Slipped on. Yeah. Oh wow. And he he gave he he pretty much said that this is the new era of uh, new metal. Well, I can believe that. I mean, it's definitely got some pretty, you know, newer sounds to the table for that particular genre. Yeah. What is the other one? Uh, obviously, the pulses and Brazilian song. I like both of those i mean i i don't really even need to say much about those because you know i already kind of had a good idea of what direction it was going to be going in with those with those two bands yeah not saying like in like a in a bad way you know like in a good way yeah um they, they both had some like I'll, I'll break it up um so i feel like that different stroke song was um a little bit different for them on some of their playing stuff. I did get some like secret band vibes from some of the guitar parts. Yeah. Those panic chords. <laughs> yeah. And then the, uh, Brasilia song. I feel like that one, you know, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say because it's just like, it, it's keeps you like involved through the entire song. I'm yeah. one of those people that like stuff to change. And if there's not something interesting going on, like in a sense of like catching my attention and like every other part of the song, then I kind of lose interest a little bit. Yeah. And they yeah, did dude. a really good job at doing that. Like that song has like, if you just listen to it too, like you can tell like John's Coheed like influences because it sounds so much like with the chuggy, like, or not the chuggy, but like all the palm muted stuff. The amazing guitar solo in the middle. It's just, yeah, yeah that dude rips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was really good. I thought the Venom song was pretty interesting. I, I think I felt a little different about it than Mark did. I, I feel like I feel like this kind of goes into like a like, and I'll use some of these bands as an example. And I'm and I'm saying this in a way where it's just kind of like. I'm going to use this one as an example, uh, like that, like moths to flames, like that, uh, pre predestination paradox. It yeah. was, it was good, but it was just one of those scenarios. Like, I feel like I've heard it before in the scene, if that makes sense. Yeah. So not, not saying like, I don't mean, I feel like I'm, I'm dogging on this and, and I'm just trying to say in like a, a constructive way it's just like it's one of those things where it's like you know i i get that the genre is metalcore right or is it post-hardcore uh i think it's metalcore yeah you know, metalcore. like miles of flame would be more on the metalcore side i think yeah i feel like 
with that stuff, you know, if you're going to do it, it's got to be like a outish. Yeah, it's just like I've heard so many metalcore songs. Like it's kind of it's kind of like a, what I said to you on the phone. It's like it's like a bag of potato chips, which I told Mark this too. There's only so many barbecue flavors you can make with different brands before <laughs> it's just a barbecue flavor. Yeah, and not yeah. saying that in a bad way. It's just like if we're gonna still be in that scene, you know, there's other people out here that are literally trying to like step it up in the scene and do something different inside the genre. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I, I'm just saying that in a sense of like how I, you know, took the song, not in the, any sense of trying to talk bad on them. It's just like really good. Just kind of felt like I was walking down a path I'd walked down before, you know, it's a good walk, but at the same time, feel like I've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, like a comfort song, I guess, if you want to listen to something that, you know, yeah. And then um, I think Trash, I really like that. Yeah, Fire Department, yeah, I really like Trash that one. Good, yeah. Yeah, definitely got those like sort of math rocky vibes. Yeah. Um, I, I, I always like a good math rock song like that. It's just got really cool noodly guitar parts, you know. It's that Midwest emo complaining about yeah. his hometown. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. I know another one I really did like. I'm pretty sure it like I'm pretty sure it's that Fire Tool song. Yeah. What is that? I couldn't have been born at the wrong time because I was never born. <laughs> yeah. It was definitely a trip to listen to that because of all like the really cool sounds that were going on in the background. Yeah. So I I think they're it's just one of those things where it feels like they're pushing which I've never really listened to Fire Tools before, so I don't know what the rest of their stuff's usually like. But it, it sounds like they're really pushing the boundaries and trying to do like some really cool sounds. In yes, the music. yeah, for sure. It, it's it's pretty dope. I, I checked it out um, from Mark's recommendation. What, you said Mark? Okay. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. yeah. It, and I think I like the Origami Angel song. Yeah, that one's really yeah I did like that. like that. Yeah, because yeah, it's got like the really interesting vocals in the background where it's just going on throughout yeah. the song. And it kind of just hypes you up for like, I feel like they do it right before the chorus, don't they? I think the so. Ooze. I yeah, think yeah. So. yeah. So that was really cool. Cause it, I don't know. It's just, it, it was diff. It was different to me from what I'm used to hear, what I usually hear throughout the scene and what's in my playlist. So it was a nice change of pace for me to hear something like that. It makes me wonder what the rest of their stuff sounds like. It's uh, good. Or I mean, it's really good. Zark said it was good too. And then Hot Dog, the Okay Who Get Me Out of This town, Small Town. Yeah. I like that one too. My Google went off when I said that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I also thought that Candle Flame song was really good too by Jungle near the Architect. I don't know if you yep. know which one I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, okay. that one's amazing. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just because I got a soft spot for like certain vocals like that, and just kind of like the, you know, it's kind of that. I don't know if you call it like, was it R and B or is it like, like hip hop, soul yeah, or R and B, like that? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, because I, I thought some of the vocals were probably taken mm-hmm. from something else maybe or were they not uh it sounded they like were. they were I, I i agree with you yeah it's definitely a lot of sampling man i was about to say because i wonder it made me wonder what song they got it from and then the hot mulligan song was good yeah the hot mulligan it's, i mean it's hot mulligan of course it's good <laughs> and <laughs> yeah yeah no i i didn't know about them until well i knew about them and t- before this because the uh, that beyond rad Chad uh, guy that has the podcast, that's what his podcast is called. He talked about them and I remember hearing about him, but I never listened to him after he talked about him. Yeah. I kind of see why he likes him so much now. How Mulligan's is the shit. I love how Mulligan. Yeah, they're definitely, definitely good. And uh pastel faces. That was the other one I really liked. I still, I still feel like uh, listening to it though. It does sound kind of like a demo. But yeah. not like fully mm-hmm. like a demo. I felt like listening to it, like I liked everything about it. 
it's just like the guitars and stuff felt like they could have used a little bit more oomph, like in volume, maybe a little bit more grit or punch or something. You know, it's yeah, just like sure. the song was there, they delivered, it just needed more punch to it. Like more yeah, just a little like, bit more production. Like, yeah. Yeah. I really like the I intro of that song. That guitar, that guitar in the beginning is is sick. Yeah. And uh we already talked about the Shikari, obviously I like that one. Um I think uh the other one I I mean I know I I'm gonna be biased here, but I like forty roll. I mean, I know it's instrumental, but I mean that song just that heavy, song sick. slapped really good. It's it's got that rap sort of beat thing at the beginning and then it just all comes in really heavy. Yeah. I I I don't know, it just it gets me. Yeah, uh, he was a drummer to I Am Abomination, and I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yo, you didn't? I was like, ah, oh, yeah, Jack's a little biased here. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Now that I know that makes me even more biased. I mean, that dude, that dude killed it. Um, <laughs> honestly, it just makes me think of like, uh, what was I say? I, I don't know. It just, it just hit really good. It, it kind of gives me like almost like. Um, an Ocean's Eight Alaska vibe with some of the guitar. You know what's funny it. is he, he's ahead. also the drummer to Ocean's Eight Alaska. He's the drummer to Ocean's Eight Alaska? Ocean Eight Alaska, Termina, and I Am Abomination. <laughs> well, that would explain explain all of that. Um, I don't know, it's just one of those songs you listen to, it makes you make that, that nasty face. Yeah. You hear those heavy guitar parts, you just can't help it. For sure, it's good. And that's that's all I got. I mean, there's more, but I'm going to stop it there. Adam. Yep. So I think I put down motions as well. It's just a sucker for like that old school hip hop vibe. Um, no Requiem. Uh, pastel pastel faces. Um, I like the bass in it. It was sort of prominent. Yeah. And I'm also a sucker for that. Candle Flame. Listen, if you want us, to, if you want me and Adam to like your song, just add some fucking like a sick ass ba- bass riff. Yeah, just make it, it audible and uh, we can like the song. Um, yeah. <laughs> we all talked about Candle Flame again, as you know, had me doing body rolls all day. Yeah, song was sick. Hell yeah. Um, Omerta, I agree with the like Slipknot slash system kind of vibes. I also. <laughs> Like that one part where he just kind of goes off the wall with that really high pitch singing. I was like, am I listening to Mindless Self Intelligence? Yeah. Like it was just kind of goofy like that. So that was that yeah. was nice. Aviation's legend. Those are those are my boys. Um, I felt like they really let uh, old Blumenthal shine with the piano. Yeah. And Adam, oh, God, course, yeah. His, apparently not good screams, even though he's really good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. I yeah. feel like he's just trying yeah. to what play a little bit. <laughs> he's just yeah. trying to play it down so everybody's what surprised when it happens. Yeah. Um Yeah. Let me see. I did enjoy Better Lovers, uh Pulses, Different Strokes. Uh The Used. Is that like a brand new song? <laughs> like those dudes. Yeah, those dudes. Yeah, it's pretty new. Yeah, it's very new. It's off yeah, of their new uh, album. Can't stop, won't stop, I guess. It was very catchy anthemic as a Tend to do. Um, it reminded me of uh, mm-hmm, their Better mm-hmm. Than the Worm album. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I agree. Like I, I have my own like hangups sure. about the song. Right. But it doesn't sound right. bad in yeah. any way. It's just one of those things. Like I've heard a bit of, not necessarily even discourse, but like I have heard people say before. Like it's kind of weird. Like how Paramore was singing about all the problems that they have. And then they all sit in their <laughs> mansions and shit with millions of dollars. Kinda and like that's kind of how it child. felt with like, I mean, I don't know how well off Burt McCracken is after all these years. But you know, I don't know if you know anything about Burt McCracken, but that dude has like the saddest fucking life story I've ever heard in my life. And this song is the best song <laughs> on the playlist. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a terrible person. Yeah, like I mean, he may be sitting in money, but he had he's had like one hell of a life, dude. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I was reading his like his backstory one day, and I was like, Jesus, dude. Like, uh, how much worry, shit can you take, man? I know he came out of. I know he came out of yeah, Salt Lake. Yeah. I know yeah. that he used his out of Salt Lake. So, don't, like, don't worry. I, I imagine that he will <laughs> yeah. never hear this. So, 
I mean, some of it is like self. Yeah, you know, self-imposed. Yeah, it, yeah, he's done it to himself or whatever. But I mean, at the same time, like with the amount of depression I'm sure he struggles with, it's not you know, <laughs> it's it's a crazy. If if you ever get a chance, just go read it, and it's like, good lord, man. I will, and then I'll feel bad about what I just said because it was a catchy song. It was just one of those things where I was like, like yeah. I get it. Yeah, like I'm, I, I, I understand what you're singing about, but yeah, yeah. Adam, is that it? The used, uh, and then you got any more after that? No, 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 no. Nope. Uh, so I wrote about cause I like, I liked, of course, all the ones we talked about previously. Omerta, that shit is straight banger. I love that song. The pulses never misses. They're fucking amazing. Resilia. The what I wrote about Resilia was is that John Benoit did not have to go so fucking hard on that guitar solo. But right? he did it. He did it for us. Oh my god, yeah, he did. <laughs> like when I first heard that I was like, holy shit, man. Like he went in. <laughs> um yeah. I'm I'm with uh Jack on the Nothing Nowhere song. I enjoyed it. I just I like man, no Aaron Gillespie on anything and I'll eat it up. I love his voice. <laughs> Yes, it does. Was that Aaron or was that? That was Aaron. The whole time? No, Aaron and Spencer and and nothing. I was going to say, I know the screens are Spencer for sure. Yeah, Aaron Aaron sings. You can tell because he does that thing where it's like uh, his voice kind of cuts out like almost at the end of his words. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I should have known, man. I listened to the almost like religiously. Yeah, Yeah, he does it a lot in the almost for sure. Um, And then... Of course, JPEG, you know, of course, Eric the Architect and all those. Aviations killed it. Dudes are so amazing. They're so nice, too. If you haven't listened to them, go listen to them. They're fucking sick. Oh, yeah. And then I love Scuff Mixon. He's just so fun to listen to. If you have, a, if you have time, go check out his discography. It's amazing. He's like, a, like an ex-hardcore kid, too. So he's like in a lot of like post-hardcore metalcore bands before you did this. So I feel like a lot of like post hardcore like metalcore kids end up going to rap at some point like just yeah. look at post malone yeah 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 like, so yeah and scuff i definitely really enjoyed that yeah obviously. scuff is so I good spoke at length about it <laughs> it's that, so that garden song really got me too just the lyrical content in it. and of course fire tools the mario 64 uh again i want to shout out in full-blown meltdown because he's he's one of the real ones man he supports the scene like nobody's business so um, I really like the Pale Dusk song too. That's a Japanese band. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention them. I've yeah, heard uh, of them before this. Yeah, that was the first time I heard them. I'm mm-hmm. gonna die for my friends. I, mean, I really enjoy that song because it went kind of all over the place. It was like I thought I was listening to a pop song, and then it they started screaming, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I don't think I remember that one. It's the "I'm Ready to Die for My Friends." Oh, yeah. That one was sick, man. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. No, that was insane. Yeah, it was. They're, um, they're from Fuku, Fukukoa, Japan Island or some, some shit like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, yeah, they're, they're fucking great. And I think that's my list, man. That doesn't mean I didn't like all the songs on this playlist, because this playlist was actually a pretty, pretty banger, man. I enjoyed it. It, it absolutely mm-hmm. was. Like, the entire yeah. playlist was an absolute banger. Yeah. Loved it. But yeah, that's that's all I got, man. Uh, we need to like announce our interviews for, for next month. Let me pull up a camera oh. there. Are we in for this? We're in for this. I'm ready to hear it. All right. So May 4th, we have... This one's uh, metal... No, not metalcore. This one's straight, like... I don't know. Is what it metalcore, Adam? Uh, Earth Groans. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Something else. Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy mm-hmm. from Earth Groans. And then on the 11th, we've got um, Tony Gregory of Space Weather. Yeah. The 18th is going to be Isaac Wilson of Dwellings. Oh, the goat. The goat. The man, the myth, the legend. Hell yeah. And then the 25th, we'll do another one of these. Well, not on the 25th. We'll probably do another one of these on like the week before. So like, yeah. I know y'all love that. Space Weather and Dwellings. Yeah, they got a lot of cool shit about um, Little Garden coming out from... from dwellings and then space weather space weather also has a lot of mm. cool shit too good night josh it's gonna be dope good night fran yeah isaac was really cool to talk to he he told us a lot of cool like um easter eggs and shit like that for both albums and it's a fun interview and space weather was really cool um a lot of cool shit in there as well so 
And of course, Jeremy Schaefer, he's amazing. He's such a nice dude. I, he was actually my first interview I ever released on oh, the show yeah. over three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, I hit him up and he let me talk to him and I was like, damn, that was easy. And he like, it was like, I had like no recording skills whatsoever. So that episode absolutely sucks shit. But he's a nice dude. Hit me up, you know. Thing. I wanted to see how long that awkward pause would go. I mean, you got the editing capabilities. Yeah. <laughs> I might leave it in. You know, <laughs> just 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 extend it for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> people like looking at their apps, like, "What the hell's going on?" <laughs> it's yeah, like man. a hidden track at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, like the fuck, man. I remember. So I listened to Corn for the first time in a long time the other day. One of their um first albums and i think it's like a their song ends and it's like 10 minutes of a hidden track before the other one so it's like an 18 minute song and like 10 minutes of it's just silence <laughs> yeah i remember like back in the day uh follow the leader like all of their track listings were so weird yeah like they had like on the back of it is like song number one was such and such. And then song number three. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was like wrote like off kilter or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Kohe did that, too. They had like I think it was for In Keeping Secrets. They have like the first 11 songs. It ends with the light in the glass. And then there are like 10 minutes of silence between 12 tracks until you get to like track 23 and then you've got 2113 like a lot of bands did shit like that yeah that's all i got man i think uh y'all y'all got anything else any honorable mentions or anything like that um trash was a really short song i look forward to listening to the rest of their music because i really liked that song but it was very short trash is awesome uh i believe adam with a t adam song. loves them yeah, 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 yeah. Like matt absolutely loves them he talks yeah. about them constantly <laughs> I need to listen to them, and I You're know good. I do. I'm, I'm a huge like like Midwest emo fan. I love Midwest emo. Oh yeah, sorry. I had a like as I was saying Midwest emo. I remember that I was giving Devin from Grapevine Gossip some Midwest emo, and I was like, wait, that one comes out soon too. But no, that one comes out yeah. Grapevine Gossip on this Thursday. So they're fucking sick. Yeah, I'm ready to listen to that because yeah. their song with Josh was so good. Oh yeah. Hella nice guys and uh, man, they're they're amazing. But yeah, that's all I got, man. Um, nope, Adam, you got anything else? From me. Nope. All right, sweet man. Join our Patreon and our Discord. I have to say that, <laughs> even though this is a live episode, so because it won't yeah, be live. Yeah, the Discord's popping all the time. It's Discord, really fun. Yeah. Come play yeah. the fucking RPG. Come play the RPG and help us with the raids because yeah. we got our asses kicked last night in a raid. We did. We need uh, more people to help us with the raids. Absolutely. Jack's still like level two. He has, Adam, you don't think you're ass in there. Jack still hasn't beaten that young wolf. We're dying oh, out man. here. Uh, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adam, try, just, man. Uh, uh, try, try. Tavern, Adam. <laughs> uh, you have to buy the license. If you just do a single daily in the butt beeps and boops, yeah. you'll be able to have enough yeah. to buy the license. Yeah. Yeah, go to the Boss Beats and Move type in, type in slash forward slash daily. We have to honestly. Adam's I hit boomer. that all in earlier, so I can just gift anybody the amount that they need. I've got one hundred thousand credits in here now. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Join the fucking Dungeons and Dragons and help us, please. We need it. And, and pre-save yeah. Chalupa Cabra. Chalupa Cabra will be out Friday. You know, this is sick. yeah, honestly, yeah. If you're in the live. Chalupa Cover comes out this Friday, April 21st. Pre-save it. You can look on our socials. We have the pre-save link there. Uh, and whenever you actually hear this, just listen to it like 15 times. Yes, Fall it's in love with it. It's, it's such... It's like doing like this collab album. It's the only true split on the album. But it's so... It's so good. And if you listen... I, I love this part. If you listen, like the same riff comes back between both halves too. Yeah. At one yeah. point in that, eh, it's just, it's, I don't want to be tooting my own horn, but this is a good song. <laughs> it is a good fucking song. 
And I can't I, technically I can like just say that I really enjoy the song because half the song isn't even my band. That's true. So, yeah. 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 I mean, if you don't listen to your own music, I mean, are you really in a band, man? <laughs> exactly. I make music for me and uh, for everybody else. But for me, I will say that uh, Adams or Matt, Matt's wife was the one who uh, came up with it. She helped Isaac pick the name for his playlist all because of Patreon. So there are some cool perks. And plus you get to call Adam whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, I need to get on that so I can. Yeah, I can really, I can really toast. You can really toast. Out 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 yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but that's it, man. That's it for tonight. I appreciate y'all for coming on and hope you enjoy this playlist. It's sick. Tangerine Sours. Uh, look yeah. for it on Spotify only because uh, I don't have a Apple subscription. So yeah, playlists <laughs> everywhere else kind of don't work. That's why I got Spotify just for this. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all, y'all have a good night. I appreciate y'all. Thanks, for... boys. Absolutely. Thank I you, guess. everybody, for coming out. Yeah, thank for sure. You. Everybody who came out, thank you. We appreciate it. You know, Adam, Augie, oh, it's yeah. great to talk to you guys again. You for sure. Jack, say bye. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, I just had to do that to hit the stop on the. Mm-hmm.